All righty, we have defensive end, KJ Henry, whenever you guys are ready for questions. KJ Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Just take me through that last play and, and what was going through your mind on the big uh, fumble recovery. Yeah, uh, they were tempo on us. Everything was going fast. Um, just wanted to give ourselves a chance. Uh, just line up and, and get off the ball. Uh, you know, I think we started getting comfortable. I had a back of left half win. Uh, we just didn't seem comfortable over there. So we're really trying to get off the ball and, and try and get to the quarterback as fast as possible. Um, really just at the end of the day, God put it in the right place, right time. And he just, he just blessed right there. So that's all with him. And uh, just glad, you know, I was just excited for for the team, for the fans. And uh, that would come out with a winner. This is uh, two home games in a row um, that the, it looked like the defense had gotten the stop you needed. And then you were, you were put to the test a second time. Um, same thing happened in the Georgia Tech game. Uh, what is it about the, the mentality of this defense that you just you just keep coming? Well, first off, I mean, to even have a chance to get a stop, you know, the offense has to give us a chance. And that's what they did again tonight. Um, and they've made great strides in the right direction. And uh, just proud. they don't get enough credit. So I'm going to give them their credit right there. And I'm proud of, proud of what they did tonight. And, you know, <clears throat> secondly, for the defense, um, just taking it one play at a time, um, you know, we – we said windshield mentality all the time around here. And uh, I think that's what we have a great job of doing. Just, you know, whenever, you know, there's a, there's a mess up, um, never pointing fingers, we're just ready to get to the sideline, get it fixed, and then go out there and fix it and compete. Um, and that's what these guys do uh, night in and night out. I love these guys, man. It's uh, it's definitely been a great year for us, um, just as a, as a brotherhood. And uh, just love what we were able to do tonight and uh, able to finish, finish on the field. Hey, KJ, it's Alexis from the state. After five games and heading into the bye week, how would you just describe the identity of this defense? The, the defense, we some fighters, um, no doubt about it. Uh, we definitely have some older guys and, um, this year, and you know we're excited about playing good, good football. I mean, we're just some dogs attacking every chance we get. Um, I mean, downhill, and we want to make plays, but at the same time, we got we want to be in the right spot. Um, and we trust each other. I think that's that's the best thing. Uh, we miss it a couple times tonight because of, of the trust we have with each other. But literally, like, you know, it's not guys trying to make other people's plays because we know the man beside us is capable of making a play. And anybody who's, who's played defense or, or been on, on this level understands, like, how important it is to trust the person beside you. I think that's probably the best quality that we bring to the table this year. Um, and we're just going to try and uh, get ready for the next opponent before we begin. KJ, y'all extended your um, home winning streak to, to 31 games, longest active streak in the nation. How, how much do y'all talk about that? Uh, <clears throat> after last week, um, that was probably the the, big, the biggest price spot we could talk about uh, coming into this week. So really don't talk about it that much, um, but it, it was spoken a little bit this upcoming week. And, um, you know, we're just happy happy to protect the Valley. Uh, you got to be able to be a good program. You got to be able to win at home no matter how it happens. And, uh, you know, to have the fans on our side always helps. It was good to, you know, obviously it was a hard hard week last week, um, but it was good for us to respond. And it was good for our fans to respond. And we had such a great crowd, a great support system tonight. Um, and it really showed all the way to the end. Um, so, you know, when it comes to something like that, that's for the team. That's also for for the fans, you know, the greatest fans in America. So, uh, it's trying to, now we're trying to start a new streak. You ready to you know, try and win some road games. <clears throat> this is Nikki with Tiger Knight. You've been around for a while and around XT. How are you to see him have some success, especially what he's been through over the last year? I can sit here and, um, probably all night and talk about XT. Xavier Thomas, I mean, recruiting. Um, we just we came up together literally the same. Same age group, same class, uh, went to all the same visits, um, same rankings. I mean, all that. Like, we were just, we've been so close throughout this process. He's been through so much. <clears throat> That's all I'll say. Uh, a lot of people don't really know the pressure he's had to go through. Just you know, always being the XT that everybody wants him to be. But he's been he's been the best XT he can be, and that's all we can ask for. Um, and, and it's showing this year. Uh, and, you know, he's just a, a hard worker. He's a fighter, and uh, mentally he's so strong. He's so strong because 
I, I promise you some of the things that um, we just have to endure, um, probably a lot of people would be able to, to move on from it. And not only is he moving on from it, but he's succeeding at the highest level. So it's so easy to celebrate him and uh, just glad to see him be successful tonight. Brother for life and uh, love. KJ, what can you say about the job that Rook and, and Trey Williams did tonight with uh, with Brian and Tyler out? Hey, you know, we, we talked about it this week. Uh, we, did, we didn't recruit these guys to come here and just sit and watch everybody else play. These guys can play football at a high level, um, and, and they did a great job. I mean, 1.2, 1.3 yards, something like that to carry. Uh, that's, that's the guys in the trench. That's the guys in the middle. And, you know, they don't, they don't get the big, you know, the crowd and, and uh, all those, you know, type of announcements, but that's how you win a game, especially with a physical offense, one of the best offensive lines in the country. That's how you do it, you know, guys like that. So uh, I think I think the play spoke for itself. And uh, the guys in the locker room know it. And at the same time, they're just growing. Um, you know, the, the same the same group who, who lifted them, lift them heads up after our loss last week was the first one to hug me this week. And uh, it's just kind of the energy that, that these guys bring, really just the whole team brings. It's, um, it's all about us. Um, but just for those guys and, and that group, we're going to be all right. We, we're going to be all right. We lost two great players, and uh, we're definitely hurt from it, no doubt about it, two of the best in the country. Um, but at the same time, um, they, what they want for us more than anything is the next man up to keep competing. And uh, we're going to be fine with that, no doubt. Anything else for KJ? All right. That concludes our availability in room two. Coach Sweeney will be um, – Starting right now in room three. Thanks, guys. Thank you.